Hey guys, today I'm going to be teaching you how to draw the Joker. So without further ado, let's get into it. So, start off in the middle of your page with two circles. These are going to be for the eyes. So draw them very neatly and then colour them in black just like I'm doing in the video. So, after this, what you want to do is draw sort of triangular shapes above his eyes, just like that. Then draw a shape of eyebrows in between those two triangular shapes. These are going to be for his actual eyebrows. Then you're going to draw his painted on nose. So draw four bumps, two at the side and two at the top. And then draw his fake painted on eyebrows, like sideways commas. So, once you've done that, what you're going to do is you're going to do two dots at the edge of the eyes, then bring it down, across, and up. This is going to be for a smile. Then do down, across, and up, again. And then go across, down, across, and up. Then do one more line for the smile. This is going to be for his face. You're going to want to draw down, curve to the bottom and back up for the head. Then you're going to draw a sort of bumpy line above his head so that it will be able to fit the hair and it will look as if it's quite messy. So draw lots of lines going up but don't make them too long. But at the same time, don't make them too short, otherwise it won't look like his hair. So draw it sort of a medium length, like I'm doing in the video. And then once you've done that, what you're going to want to do is join them all with bumps all across to make it look like strips of hair, like the Joker actually has in the movie. So... Once you've done that, after drawing part of the top hair, you want to continue it down the side. So, draw lots of bumps down, but then draw two ears at the side, and then continue with the bumps. Then you want to do what you did on the top and draw some of the lines, just like that, for the strips of hair on the side. So, then you're going to want to repeat it on the other side. So, as we did... We go down and then we draw all of the lines for all of his strips of hair. And then as you can see, I'm paying a lot of detail, so you need to as well, otherwise it won't look as good. So, now I've done the face, what I'm going to do is draw a curved line underneath his face with a triangle. Then I'm going to draw a little upside down triangle for inside there. Then... What I'm going to do is draw down and then back up, joining it with the triangle. Then draw three dots, or however many you want, in his jacket. So, now we're going to get started on his red jacket. So draw down, and then you're going to draw a curve with a line on the end for his hand. And then you're going to draw a line down for the other side of his arm. And then draw a usual shape hand and join it up to the curve. Then what you're going to do is draw a sort of gun because most of the time he has a gun because he's quite evil. So then what you're going to want to do is shade it just like you did on the eyes. So colour that all in black for his pistol. And then what you're going to do now is... You're going to draw a line across his hand and then do it again. Then draw three buttons in between a rectangle. Then you're going to repeat on the other side. So you're going to start to draw the arm. Then you're going to draw the sort of hand shape we did. And then you'll draw another line up. Except this time what you're going to do is draw a sort of wig shape behind his hand for the head of the clown mask. 
Then draw a line down, draw two X's, a circle for the nose and a line. This is because he's going to be holding a clown mask because of course he's the Joker. So, after you've done that, what you're going to want to do is draw two lines or one for now and then you're going to start on the second one for his jacket. Then what you're going to do is just join it up to the top and then you want to draw one pocket on the right side and another on the left, just like that. Then what you're going to want to do is draw a few more buttons or dots for now on his jacket. And then we're going to draw a line down and then bump out for a shoe shape and then go back up. So, then what you're going to want to do is draw three lines and a curve and join it up to the middle. Then you're going to do the same. Go down, across, for a shoe shape, draw three lines, a curve, and then back up. Just like that. Draw a line in the middle for the crease in his trousers, and then just add some extra detail to stuff you need. So it might be the jacket, the hair, the face, the legs, or the body. I just drew the clown mask a bit thicker on the eyes and shaded in the eyes on him a bit more and then I decided, this is optional for you, I decided I would draw teeth and then, yeah, and then all I did was one more touch, I just drew some few more buttons and then of course any other detail but then I decided that I could do the edge for the collar bit of his jacket like most suits have and then just like that I decided to do some more stuff so I did a bit more detail on the arms I drew them up a bit more and now what you're going to want to do is draw a sort of shape underneath his jacket and then you're going to do whatever you want. So like I drew a little bit of wobbliness for the paint under the skin. And then just like that, that's how to draw the Joker. I hope you did enjoy. If you did, make sure to smash that subscribe button. Click that like button. And I'll see you guys next time I film. Without further ado, peace out.